Got you. Um, I guess this is to, to both women. Um, mm -hmm. we, we touched on jealousy. Mm -hmm. is, is there any jealousy within this type of situation? Yes. Mm -hmm. There, there is. is. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Either one of y'all, please. Uh, I, I would love to hear reason, So maybe the same. I don't know. But we don't really talk about the jealousy part like that anymore because we, well, we've learned to communicate. At first, it was just, I would have an attitude. I mean, I still kind of do, but I, that's, that was my way of letting you know I'm not satisfied with something. I would just walk around with an attitude and not really be vocal about it because I thought if I spoke on it, then, you know, now you got to bend or something or kind of like that. And, it's like I wanted to say a lot, but then I didn't want the other person to feel some kind of way. So I kind of just kept quiet for a while. But when it really started mentally messing with me and physically messing with me, I was like, all right, I got to say something because I can't sit here and act like I'm satisfied or I'm happy and I'm not. And, you know, everybody's reaping the benefits of this relationship except for me. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yes. Um. The way I handled jealousy in the past, well, in the beginning of me and Michael's relationship is I would pray. I would pray to God and I would read my Bible mm -hmm. and I would apply certain things to my everyday life. Mm -hmm. um, I dealt with that from this, the same dynamic at the same time. Um, I've had moments of jealousy and for the most part, what really works for me is prayer and communication. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I totally get how you handle it. I guess mm -hmm. what I'm asking is, everything's out in the open. Mm -hmm. Right. What, what do either of you ladies, what do you get jealous about? Um, I think I get jealous of how he is with her versus how he is with me because he doesn't really see it. But I feel because they have more of a history than him and I do, if he's more catering and whatnot to her versus how he is with me because... I'm the mouthy one, so he tends to be more easy going with her versus how he is with me, and that's what gets me jealous and upset at times because I can see, like, you can see it, you can feel it, like, the love, the consistency, and everything is there versus how sometimes it could be with me and him. And I get jealous because I feel like he has more time to spend with her. What, what do you mean? Elaborate. Well, she is, she's home and I'm at work. So for the most part, well, I work in the evening time. So for the most part, I'll be home, but I'll be home late. But so while like, you're at work, <laughs> so while you're at work, you're processing it as he's spending more time with, with his other wife. Yes, but he's not. <laughs> and that's why I'm complaining because he's never here. So yeah. And for the most part, he's he be busy. Yeah, he be busy. From where I that that that's as of busy. lately. As of lately. Um, we have a large family. Mm -hmm. So you um, think too much too <laughs> to, to, to whom given much is much required, right? So yes. you know, these kids have needs, yes, and we match them, but they also have wants and desires. Right. You know, so you know, I'm out building our future. Okay. You know, of course, I work full time, um, but then I also, you know, like, see, I'm an author. I have a book. I also act, you know, I'm in movies. Um, and the acting career has really picked up. Like, I even booked my first feature film that this month up to July 2nd, we're filming. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a feature film, you know. Um, I've been in series this year alone. I've been in 10 movies. It's the 11th one I'm working on. Four series. I've been on four episodes of Wild and Out in the Canada. <laughs> and I've been in four plays. So this this year, 2023, has really picked up for me. Um, so I, yeah, I am moving and shaking a lot, you know, but I try to get the time in. But once everything is set, then I, I'll create more time for the family you know not to say i'm not spending time with i'm home every day mm -hmm. i'm home every day yes, um <laughs> you know <laughs> um but it just gives me sometimes i'm tired sometimes i lay down or sometimes giving other individuals 
um, time and attention because I have older children, I have adult children, mm -hmm. you know, and I try to spread myself as much as I can, you know. Understood. You know, I got to ask you, Mikhail, both ladies spoke about their jealousies and their insecurities uh, as pertaining to being in this situation. Do you prefer to be with one of your wives more than the other? No. I love them. You know, I can't say I love them the same, but I love them equally, if that makes sense. I don't love them the same because they're not the same individuals. They're different. They have different love languages. You know what I mean? And I try to cater to the love language. Um, as far as controversy and, and things like that, I've learned as a man how to avoid that. You know what I mean? So sometimes it's just being quiet and withdrawn. You know, if, if she's upset about something and she's going, I got to let her have a moment, you know, because I don't want to pick at the moment, you know, and now it turns into a match of who's going to make who feel worse. I don't want to do that. So I just become withdrawn until we can come to a time that we can talk and talk it out. And then I'll explain things. Hey, what you was feeling this way and assuming, you know, that, because I did this, admit that, no, nah, it didn't mean that. This is what it meant. Here was, here was my intentions. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and if you feel that way or, you know, one, I apologize because that's not how it was meant. Sometimes that's not always received because we still in ourselves and we still in, you know, I know what I felt. I know what it looked like to me. So mm -hmm. that's, that's what I'm stuck mm -hmm. with. You know what I mean? So I just have to figure out different ways around that to get to her love language. You know what I mean? You, would you guys ever consider having another husband? No. Mm -mm. Nope. Would you ever consider bringing another wife into the situation? No. We joke about it, but <laughs> 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 I'm good. You know, I talk to a lot of guys and they swear, like, this is the life. And I'm like, you know, it's hard enough pleasing one woman right. than when you got two. And you got to think about their feelings, their emotions, you know what I mean? What, what sets them off, what sets them on, and all those things. Um, anybody can go play. That's easy. Being a player, play, being a player, easy. No strings, no nothing, no commitments, no nothing. That's easy. You know what I mean? But this right here, it takes a lot of work. And I have them too. I've been with Alicia going on 25 years in August. Jasmine going on 13 years in September. I'm I'm content. I'm set. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't looking for nothing else. I'm just trying to master this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I gotta ask. You're still a man. You're still a man. man. You know what? I don't even, I don't even like I'm a man, so yeah, I notice pretty women, but I'm not even interested, honestly. I'm not, I'm not even interested because I know behind every pretty woman is a can I cuss? <laughs> yeah, yeah, feel free. <laughs> the fucked up attitude. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 me. that I don't need, you know what I mean? But on a, ser on a serious note, you know, this is my family. This is what I service. You know what I mean? I service my family. I, lo I look at it as that. Um, even when it comes to home and the housing situation, like I'm in the kitchen cooking. I'm up in the morning trying to help with the kids on my free morning, helping with the kids. I'm there in the afternoon trying to help pick up the kids. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Get them situated. You know, because I want it to be less on them as possible because this is what I create. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.